Hey everyone, um, today I'd like to uh, go through the project that I uploaded recently on my Boosty and Patreon channel. So, uh, this is an Orbit emission. Um, it's a very interesting uh, effect. So, uh, let's see how can we. Uh, create such an effect and uh, do a little more advanced things so here's the setup so what do we have here we have a simple sphere and um, I'm scattering a bunch of points uh, to surface and uh, onto the surface of the object and inside of the object and then by merging them I'm using it to uh, fracture my geometry so I could have some inner pieces as well and uh, also what I'm doing here I'm creating this um, dollar f expression I'm using this one to uh, to randomly distribute points onto the surface so each time I could have a different uh, fracture pattern okay so I could do this here as well let's see so now we have a different pattern inside as well so then we're assembling uh, our pieces uh, creating a name and packing uh, geometry so I could have a packed primitive points uh, primitive geometry and here we have uh, a line with a few points six in, the, in my case then uh, a, little, a little transform just to lift it upwards and I'm assigning uh, random colors on each point then I'm adding some velocity uh, it's not visible but here you can see so each time we're running through each point and has different velocity assigned to it okay so here I'm using an expression to randomly delete one of the um, exclude one of the point Okay, so I'm using the delete non-selected. So here's the expression which uses the fit function of the f expression, which runs through, uh, which assigns a random, uh, random number by using the frame expression, and it fits from zero to number of points that we have, and we then uh, floor it, so we round it down to zero, uh, to zero, one, two, and so on. Um, since uh, the random function uh, accumulates uh, from from zero to one, uh, that's why we are using the fit fun fit uh, function to uh, fit expression to uh, actually use it from zero to number of points. Okay, and this will create this kind of a. Um, switching from point to point okay and then I'm adding a random normal direction so I'd like each time the geometry to uh, to be oriented differently and then we copy all the geometry to these points this way we have kind of expression uh, the result sorry okay and also it's been prefractured so we have each time a different pattern all right now um, time to do objects so here we create um, a collision geometry with the gravity applied to it 
there's a rigid body we're just connecting the sub solver and rigid body solver to our multi solver because we would like to uh, do this operation uh, of switching the the points and copying the next geometry uh, to this point and then start simulating this way uh, we'll have all that animation that we've seen in the subcontext okay here so uh, here we're assigning our geometry um, um, we're simply using the first context geometry okay that's why I, and here in the bullet data so let me turn this We're using uh, we're using the collision padding that we're putting with very low value. This way, um, if for example I use the default value and use the simulation, as you see. Here, um, our chunks are dancing all around the place, and we would like to uh, like we would like to have a nice behavior just to settle them down. This way, um, I'm creating a very low value. If I, for example, activate this one just to see what we have. Okay, sorry. So this is a collision geometry of our primitives, okay? And as you see, kind of a not very correctly uh, uh, replicating our our original geometry. So um, giving it a low number creates a more uh, create geometry around each piece. Okay, and if I do the simulation, we have a better collision. Okay, as you see, we have better representation and better behaviors, uh, more natural. Okay. All right, so um, so here we're using our um, our um, spawning geometry, so as a second input, okay, and we would like to merge it with uh, the current simulation, okay, so we we'll merge them together. And then uh, we'd like to switch, like from from the uh, from the first uh, input to the second one. And here we're using like dollar ff expression modules by five. So we'd like to emit each time when our frame is modules by five. Okay, this way we'll create. Uh, not every frame emission, but only whenever it, whenever it's um, it's modules by five. Okay. And this way, we have some pause between each uh, emitted geometry. So then you can cache it and uh, adjust the color to make it more colorful. Okay, so um,
two things that I'd like to add um, to this simulation. Let's say I'd like to have different geometries and also I'd like to have like uh, now I have like um, six points and I have assigned six uh, six random colors to each point but during the simulation it will repeat um, the same colors uh, so in this case I'd like to um, assign a random color to each point uh, to do so I'll create uh, two attributes which is the current frame and the attribute frame. So uh, I'd like to uh, assign a frame attribute to each point whenever it's been created. This way I will have a unique uh, attribute frame uh, on each point. So uh, here's the current frame. I'd like to, uh, to track the current frame and this attribute frame Will happen uh, whenever a uh, next point is being created so um, we're using soft solver to track each frame so here we're using previous and the current frame and merging it together so let me turn this off for now so here's my current frame where where I'm uh, adding uh, uh, one uh, each frame okay so if um, if I simply check so uh, current frame so if I play as you see it's assigning like one two three and so on the current frame so now we are we are tracking our current frame uh, next uh, we're creating condition using the if statement so whenever is uh, our, our attribute frame is less than zero so it remains the same and the current frame is bigger than one so um, we would like to to assign to our attribute frame the current frame okay and this way um, if we take a look on our attribute frame so as you see we have a different number uh, assigned as an attribute to uh, our points Okay, so this way uh, we can use this attribute as a color distribution to our points. So, and now this way, if I just check. Okay, uh, one thing, since um, SOPSolver is uh, simply computing all the stuff, uh, so, and all the points uh, remain on the same place, and it's keep adding on top of each point, like, uh, and now if I just so we should have six points only, but we have 55. So we delete the first one. So each time now, we are keeping only one point. And see, 
So as you see, now we are assigning a different colors uh, to each of the point. All right, now um, adding different geometries. So we will be using same uh, points. And I have created a few geometry here. Uh, and I assign it to, to our switch node, which will uh, which will work as a switcher. Okay. And um, and I'm copying the geometry into uh, onto each point. So how like how we would um, actually uh, do uh, the switching process? So uh, since we have this attribute created, and we have four geometry. So we're doing a spare input. Where is it? Spare input and just drag and drop our point with all necessary attribute that we need in this case. And then uh, I'm using the point expression to use this uh, attribute. And uh, since we have only four objects, I'm using the modules by four. So which is one is modules by four, it will be used. I mean, which of the input is modules by four? It will use this geometry to distribute. And since our geometry is also um, uh, attached to point, which is uh, which is like not center, okay? We would like to simply center each point. And here that everything is the same. Now, if we start scrubbing, we have uh, different geometries assigned to to the points, and we have also different fracture pattern, which is uh, quite cool. Okay, and back to our dynamics. So, as you see, everything works nicely. And uh, we can also now have different colors assigned to our geometries. So, um, Well, hope you liked the lesson. Thank you very much and goodbye.